In this tutorial, we will use Rigify to rig our model inside of Blender. You can have inverse kinematics just to apply to your hands, legs, and also to your body. So you can move your body around and create some pretty nice animations. Interested in this? Just follow along. Blender is already installed with Rigify, but we have to enable it. Click on Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and look here for Rigify and make sure that this box is selected. Now, here, hold Shift A, and then you can select an armature, and there you have the different ones. You can enable animals, the human ones, or the basic ones. So the most common one is the human meta rig, and this is the most advanced. Now, this has a lot of face bones in it as well, and it has all hand bones as well. So you can use this, or I'll show you another one, for example, the animal one, for example, the cat. I also use this for monsters and creatures as well. But what we are going to do in numpad 1 view, shift A, armature, but I'm going to use a basic, basic human. Because like this, I don't have these complicated face bones and I'm sometimes too lazy to animate the hand bones. So this is perfectly fine for me. So here I have a character. And I'm going to parent this Rigify to here. First thing we need to do is to make sure we can see our bones. So select your bones, click on this little guy, go to viewport display and make sure in front. By the way, we are in object mode right now. And with the bones selected, S to scale. And I like to scale this one up from the bottom down to shoulder height. Then with the bones selected, go to edit mode. And in edit mode, we can just tweak these values as we need. Now, a common mistake that people made is just they just G grab this one, but make sure that your bones are still connected. So, what you're also going to do is enable this mirror modifier because now when I move, it also moves on the other side. So, put these ones in position and look at it from different sides. By the way, I move this together. This also more like here and then the head gz to move it like this and the pelvis is also a bit down here so gz move the pelvis down a bit g to grab in the knees location and g to grab right here now this is not perfect yet because when i look at it from different sides you can see the mesh is coming out of here so hit three on your numpad to go in the side view and then you can go gy and have this selected, number three again, GY, GY, okay, and the knee can come a little bit forward, but this one needs to go a little bit back, make sure these are also in two position, and look at your bones from different sides. Now, the best tip that I can give you is to make a spine just like a real human spine. So, for example, it is good that this is a bit more in the back of your body and this point should also be a little more back so with shift I select it GY put them a little bit back like this okay look at it from the top front and side with numpads 1 3 and 7 and then with middle mouse you can look around that the bones are indeed inside of the body okay the hard work is completed now I go back to object mode and have your bones selected right now there is an error because the scale is not correctly because I scaled this one. Let's fix the scale. Hit Ctrl A and then we apply it for the scale. And now it is fixed back to 1. So my scale is back correct. Okay, what we now can do is to apply the Rigify. You need to be in object mode and here you can see the Rigify buttons. So have this selected and then you click Generate Rig. Now we get all fancy equipment, so there's a lot of things going on. So first thing we can do is click the rig we had first, the meta rig, and just click this eye icon just to hide this, because the other ones are the ones that we need. Now we need to parent the mesh to this armature. Select your mesh first, then shift click on the new rig, not the old one, the new rig, and hit Ctrl P. We are going to parent these with automatic weights. Okay, 
Now, hit your new rig and then go to post mode. And right now, this should be, there you go, there you go, this should be connected up. Now, if there are some errors, then you need to go into weight painting. Now, this is not a weight painting tutorial, there are a lot of videos on that on YouTube. If you want, I can create one video on this channel also, but if it works, this should be it. Now, at these handles, more like the square ones, or the inverse kinematics, so you can really see like the leg really moves nicely along. You can hit G to grab or R to rotate. Okay, great. And you can also select these ones and test this out a bit. You can also hit G and then X or Y. Okay, maybe not Y because this is a bit weird. And you can animate and your rig just like this. So, hope this helped. Leave a comment down below if this works for you. Just a few errors to keep in mind before you apply this. Make sure you have your new rig parented. Make sure you apply it to scale with Ctrl A. And with the bones, make sure they are still connected in edit mode before you do all of this. Okay, I hope this works and you can now easily create rigs inside of Blender.